Hey guys, welcome back. It's the end of the gardening season. I'm sure many of you are experiencing your first frost or it's very close in your near future. So you've got to start harvesting everything off the vines, but you've got a ton of green tomatoes. You might like fried green tomatoes, but you might want a lot of those to get ripened. What can you do? One trick is taking the whole plant out of the ground, hanging it upside down in your garage, and letting it just ripen as it ripens. And you can have tomatoes for quite a few months still. Downfall, if you're like us, and you have mammoth tomato plants that wanted to be nine foot tall, that doesn't work out very well. <laughs> or if you have mice in your garage, there's, there's many reasons why that just might not work out. So now if you had to pull them off the plant, what can you do? Tomatoes typically will ripen on their own on the counter. Um, sometimes it takes a while. If it's in the sunlight, it usually will speed up the process. But another method is brown paper bagging it. Taking your tomatoes and putting your unripe tomatoes into a brown bag um, and just sealing it, check it every day. When you find an orange tomato, take it out. Um, this increases the gases that they release when they're ripening in the bag and seals it so it causes them all to start to ripen. If you put an already ripe banana in there it will speed up the process so if you want ripe tomatoes right away you can do that. Um, I try not to put ripe tomatoes in as I'm putting them into the bag because I'm trying to slow the process down in a sense so I can have tomatoes hopefully through the next couple months still. So I'm going to show you it's a simple method. Um, just an easy way to take those green tomatoes and get them to ripen up so you can use them still. Let's dive in. So, I've already gone through a lot of tomatoes. You can see some of these are starting to ripen. Most of them are pretty green. Um, this whole bucket there, basket, is green tomatoes bagged up already. So, as you see, I've gone through a lot. Those are my green onions, by the way, that we had out in the yard. I brought them in, dehydrated the huge onions that we had. And now they're planted in the soil so they can start to regrow. And you can see, like, from this one that there is already some regrowth. You can see the little bit of green coming up. That's regrowth. So, we'll get some more green onions in the house growing so we still have them throughout the winter. But what do we do with all these? So we've got our small brown bag. You could use a bigger one, but again, I don't want to put too many in a bag. I'm trying to keep it at a minimum so when they start to ripen, hopefully we have smaller batches ripening. But you're just going to take them. I leave them on the vine and everything. Um, you could take them off the vine. But I just leave them on the vine. I'm trying to get that leaf, though. There we go. But I just leave them on the vine, and I throw them into the bag. Again, I try not to get the ones that are already starting to change colors. Those can go in their own bag, technically, um, so that they ripen semi-fast, but I don't want to put them in here and have the whole bag ripen right away. I've already got a ton of ripe tomatoes. I got some tomatoes already in the crock pot now going over to spaghetti sauce, so I don't really need it ripe right this minute. So that's all you have to do, guys. Literally, you just do that. You, once you have enough in there, I'm not done with this, you seal the bag up and you put it in basically a cool place. You don't want to put it in direct sunlight. So these ones I did yesterday. Doubtful that there's any ripe. But all you do is you open up the bag and you look in there for any ripe tomatoes. If you find any ripe tomatoes, take them out. Because you leave them in there, they could spoil. But... You gotta go through these regularly, so make sure you have it in an easily accessed place. Once I'm done going through this basket, this will get dispersed over into that as well, so that way we have two baskets. Sorry, my table is a mess from the garden. You can see all the stuff that's piled up that needs to be taken care of. So, we got a busy day today. Hope you guys learned a little something, and guys, be kind. You don't know what anyone's going through. We'll catch you on the next one.